Good evening, Shannon. Well, we just heard from Defense Secretary Mattis and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Joe Dunford. They were joined by their colleagues from Britain and France here in the Pentagon. And they told us that those airstrikes and those strikes from the sea began at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. It was, as, as Secretary Mattis said, a one-time shot. The airstrikes are over at this point in time. We can report that there were three targets that were struck. One was a research uh, research center in Damascus where chemical weapons were tested and stored. That was an R&D facility in Damascus. There was another a chemical weapons storage facility in Homs, north of Damascus, as well as a separate storage site uh, near Homs. So three sites were struck tonight. Uh, we just heard from Secretary Mattis. Here's what he said. Tonight, France, the United Kingdom, and the United States took decisive action to strike the Syrian chemical weapons infrastructure. Clearly, the Assad regime did not get the message last year. General Dunford said that uh, Syrian uh, uh, surface-to-air missiles had been engaged at the beginning of the airstrikes. Uh, they, however, have not reported that there were any U.S. or allied losses as a result of those SAM missiles being fired, but they were engaged at the start. There was no sign that the Russians engaged in any way. Uh, General Dunford said that the deconfliction hotline that deconflicts the airspace above Syria was employed, but the U.S. did not give Russia any advance warning about the targets. Obviously, as they were choosing targets in recent days, it was very important to the Pentagon that they not choose any sites where they thought that Russians could be uh, killed in the process. That's why they took, looked at these three targets in particular. They also wanted to minimize, according to Secretary Mattis, any potential for civilian casualties. That's why this was a somewhat limited strike. But as Secretary Mattis said, there were about twice the number of munitions used this year as opposed to last year's strike after Assad used chemical weapons a year ago. So it was a very strong, uh, impactful, uh, forceful strike, uh, but limited in nature in terms of just three sites that were targeted. Shannon. All right, Jennifer Griffin, remaining live for us at the Pentagon. Thank you very much tonight.